Hey guys, let's talk about Tangina Hussein. Tangina was born on April 10th, 2006, and has been missing since October 2nd, 2008 from Detroit, Michigan. At the time of her disappearance, she was 2 years old, 3 feet 2 and 34 pounds. She's an Asian female with black hair and brown eyes. Tangina has a burn scar on her chin, upper lip area. She is of Bangladeshi descent. Tangina was last seen at a marathon gas station in the 2500 block of Greenfield Road in Detroit, Michigan on October 2, 2008. Her mother's live-in boyfriend, Jamrul Hussein, stopped there to get gas and buy some gum and juice. He left Tangina in his red four-door 1997 Geo Prism and went into the store at 9.02 p.m. He came out at 9.06 p.m. and Tangina was gone. He says his car was locked at the time of her disappearance. Jim Rule didn't call the police or search for the little girl at the time. Instead, he drove to pick up Tangina's mother, Nalufa Begum, from her job at a clothing store and in the nearby Northland Mall. Begum asked where her daughter was, and Jim Rule replied he would take her to where Tangina was. The couple returned to the gas station and asked employees if there were surveillance cameras in the area where Jim Rule's car had been parked. There were no cameras on that side of the building, although surveillance cameras do show Jim Rule making his purchases in the store. Jim Rule and Begum filed a missing child report with the police at 9.30 p.m. Although they share the same surname, Tangina and Jim Rule are not related. Jim Rule and Begum are immigrants from Bangladesh. They had been dating about five months by the time Tangina disappeared. Jim Rule's attorney maintains his client knows little about American culture and the American legal system, although he does speak reasonably, reasonably good English. Police admitted that language and cultural barriers have impeded their investigation. Tangina's father, Muhammad Ahmed, lives in New York. Ahmed and Begum were married for five years before their divorce in 2006. Their other two children live with Ahmed's parents in Bangladesh. After Tangina's disappearance was publicized, a 15-year-old girl went to police and said she recognized her role from a television broadcast and that he had kidnapped her at gunpoint, held her captive for a week, and RAPED her repeatedly in February 2008. She said she hadn't reported the crime before because Jamrul had threatened to kill her and her family. Instead, she claimed she had run away with her boyfriend. Investigators arrested Jamrul for kidnapping an RAPE and also charged the couple who lived in the house where the girl said she had been imprisoned. The charges against them were later dismissed and the charges against Jamrul were reduced to criminal sexual conduct after two witnesses testified that he and the girl had been dating each other. In 2009, General was convicted of statutory RAPE. He was sentenced to one and a half to 15 years in prison. Begum initially supported General, saying he loved Tangina and cared for her like a daughter. By November 2008, however, she publicly stated she doubted General's version of events and believed he knew more about Tangina's disappearance than he was telling. Begum took a polygraph of her own initiative and passed the test. General took a polygraph as well, but he was so upset at the time that the results were useless. He refused to take the test again. Begum has since returned to Bangladesh. She said she believes Tangina is still alive. Although some investigators stated they have serious doubts about Jim Rule's story, he hasn't been named a suspect in Tangina's disappearance. Her case is investigated as a missing child rather than as a crime. Little evidence is available as to her fate. If you have any information, please call the Detroit Police Department at 313 596 1800